Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about Klaus Schultz uh, and his first album that he put out after leaving Tangerine Dream. Uh, it's called Erlicht, and it was released in 1972. Um, so, of course, uh, as you might know or might not know, Klaus Schultz was... Uh, uh, a member of Tangerine Dream, and uh, he was a drummer on their first album that they put out. And then he decided to move, uh, move on, move, move away from Tangerine Dream, and start his solo work, solo projects. Um, as of why he did it, uh, I think he. Uh, he wanted he his ideas on what should you know what the next album should sound like and what it should be um, uh, did not mesh well together with uh, Edgar Frosch, so he he went out he went off on his own and created his own solo work, and as you know, I believe. This year, actually, he he um, passed away, um, and uh, he's he's a pioneer of of electronic music um, in in Europe, and in one of his interviews, I believe he said, "What do you think about Tangerine Dream and and you know the difference between." What, do you, what would you say is the difference between Tangerine Dream and you, Klaus Schultz? And uh, why, why is Tangerine Dream so popular in America and uh, Klaus Schultz is more popular in Europe? Well, he, he said, well, that's okay. American ha America can have Tangerine Dream. Europe will have Klaus Schultz. Um, so yeah, essentially, for I'm not sure why, but he is more popular or better known in Europe than in America. Everybody knows Tangerine Dream because, I mean, they've been doing uh, maybe it, maybe it's because they've been doing a lot of movie soundtracks, uh, and. Uh, as as for for one there there's the uh one in the in the 80s called legend from i think 1985 where it has tim curry and it has tom cruise and i forgot what the the um actress's name was but um Anyways, uh, they they composed music for that uh, for that movie, and uh, I actually have the movie, and you can switch back and forth from classical uh, composition to Tangerine Dreams um, soundtrack of the movie, and I think it's interesting to hear both because. You know, I I love Tangerine Dream, and uh, I also like classical music, so um, it's kind of a cool feature that I have on the movie. Anyways, back to the album Erlicht uh, that Klaus Schultz put out in 1972. It has three songs on it. Um... The first one is Ebene, Ebene, Satz Ebene. Uh, the sec, the second song is Gewitter, Energy Rise, Energy Collapse, and the third song is Exile Sils Maria. Um, and it it's it should be noted that Klaus Schultz uh, when he recorded this album, he um did it all on analog equipment of course because back in 1972 i mean 
that's what you are stuck with, right? Um, and uh, he, in in his own words, uh, Klaus, and I'll I'll paraphrase, obviously, Klaus Schultz said that he didn't did not think that he, that they would accept his album um, that he created, but they did, and uh, and the rest is history, really. <laughs> Well, the first track is really like a, a, a building up of tension with orchestral music. And uh, it, it's 29 minutes long. And it's, it's just really interesting to hear because, like I said, it's all analog. And, uh, and then uh, the second s song, which is, I think it's the... The Satz Gewitter, by the way, it's right, I've got my own copy right here, and it's, um, it's a really good album. Uh, the second song is actually the shortest song on, on the album, and it's got a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, kind of, uh, ambient sounds. Uh, sounds kind of like, like, uh, aliens are coming and, and the, there's, there's all this, uh, like, uh, f fury of sounds within, uh, Gewitter, energy rise and energy collapse. And it's, it's interesting to hear, even though it's the shortest, shortest on the album in regards to the length but it is it is pretty good nonetheless um and then number three this the last song exile sills maria is in my opinion amazing it, it, it in in some ways it's even better than song number one uh, Exile Sils Maria is a beautiful, beautiful ambient song that lasts uh, 21 minutes and 27 seconds long, and it's it's just you just have to hear it. It's it it's so ethereal. It's so sublime when you when you when you have time to sit down, maybe like during during the night time or you know when everything is less um when every everyone's uh gone to bed or uh you know the day is ending and you're you're wanting to relax to some uh beautiful heavenly music well put on song number three um Exile Sils Maria, and you're going to, you you will be transported to a beautiful uh, place. Uh, it's 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 like your mind is take taken on a trip when you uh, listen to Exile Sils Maria. It's it's truly a wonderful thing to hear. Um, as far as uh, the album as a whole, how does it how does it flow through these three songs? Well, I I mean I it was truly um, uh, you know when 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 the album came out I it it was a like a, almost like experimental album because. There really wasn't anything out there other than, you know, Tangerine Dream. But, um, so as far as the ranking of this album, I would probably give it a, like, I'm leaning more towards uh, a 9 out of 10. I, I was thinking probably 8, but but it it deserves a whole lot more than that it i would give it like a 9.2 out of 10 this album is 
not only is it the first album that uh, Klaus Schultz put out on his own, it is it is one for the record books. It's just it's it's created in such a unique way that um, that it's just it's. I mean, what can I say? Klaus Schultz was a pioneer of his own genre. Um, and uh, he he actually uh, show, led the way, even though there was Tangerine Dream, which he um, uh, walked away from. Um, he was also part of Ash, Ashra Temple, um, which is another group, kind of kraut rock, uh, kraut rockish music, um, but 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 ultimately Klaus Schultz, all by himself, just creating his own music. That's that's where it's at, and you should definitely check out this album. It's it's got this like alien person on a on a forbidden forbidden desolate planet and then there's this stick here that uh, apparently is cut in half and the upper half is floating the other half is just stuck in the ground it's it's an interesting album without a doubt i i i truly truly recommend he you hear this and uh the other album that i really like from klaus schultz which there's a ton but i, I really like cyborg which um uh which was put out after this one i think i think it was his second the the album right after this one cyborg um I believe it was, was it Cyborg or was it, yeah, yeah, let's see, yeah, Cyborg. Uh, so Ehrlicht, this album was put out in 72, and Cyborg was put out in 73. So, yeah, definitely check him out. Like I said, he was a member of Ashra Temple, he was a member of Tangerine Dream, uh, and then he decided to move on and create his own music on his own. And uh, what can I say? He he's a pioneer of the of his of ambient music of of trance and and uh, you know just uh, electronic music. So check him out. And thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. And please give me a like. Give me, um, let me know what you think about this album. And I'll, uh, I'll be glad to read your, your comments and, and comment back. And if you want me to review a, a, an album, just let me know um, in the comments. And I'll be glad to hear it and see what, I'll tell you what I think about it. So next time, see ya.